What's up, guys? We are back once again. We're going to be talking about some more Attack on Titan Episode 8 of the final season. This this episode was insane. Now, if you guys have not yet to go check it out, go check it out. It is online. It is intense. Now, it does leave off right on the last episode where Aaron sees Raynar, and as soon as he does, he just knocks him right in the face. As soon as he does... He goes down, hits him a couple more times, and then he gets out of his uh, his Titan form, and then he just looks at them, and he's just like, "All right, uh, I'm done." Basically, it's it's pretty much what Aaron is thinking. And then Mikasan grabs him, and they start going towards the uh, air balloon. And while everyone else is providing cover, everyone is trying to escape. And of course, Gabby sees them and starts trying to go after them while Falco is on her tail as well. Then we also see where as soon as that happens, which is really crazy, is that uh, somehow or other, he gets Aaron gets on with Mikasan. As soon as he does, he sees Armin. He grabs him and he gets up into the the air balloon or, or the uh well air balloon whatever you guys want to call it <clears throat> as soon as that happens we see it and levi sees him and just knocks him right in the face and he basically informs aaron that you know it's been a while he knocks him right in the face he basically tells him that he looks like crap and he informs him that he has not seen anything like that since they were back home and he also informs him that okay because of you you know we lost soldiers and you know so Mikasan was trying to stop it but Armin tells her basically don't do it basically let this happen because Aaron knew what he was getting himself into so what I'm assuming is Aaron went against orders of what the original plan was that we still don't know what it was because again you can tell Aaron basically went nomad because he just didn't I guess he wanted to do his own thing and he basically accepts being arrested by the scouts and then we see everybody else coming in they start celebrating and then of course we go down to uh falco as well as uh gabby and then gabby starts explaining that oh you know i, I have such bad memories you know i'm gonna kill Aaron Yeager for what he did because i was gonna prove that the uh Elodins, that they we were worth it and now because of them you know we can't do that no more and she's basically the, they're trying to make us feel sorry for her it's basically what they're doing and as soon as that happens, we basically do see that as soon as that does happen, uh, we do kind of understand why she's so angry because she's wanting to bring honor to the Elodins that they're saying that they're the true Elodins, even though they are working with the Molly army. And as soon as they get on there, we just see where Sasha, Coney, and Jean, they're having a moment after Jean goes in there. But what's crazy is after everything, Gabby runs off to try to go after them again and shoots down uh, one of the ones, and then she takes his uh, his weapon to try to go on to the air balloon, and as soon as that happens, Falco sees her, but he also remembers what Raynar told him, and he, he's going to have to be the one to save her from her own darkness. Now, they go on to the air balloon, as soon as that happens, uh, you hear a bump, and even Falco says that I'm the one that's supposed to inherit the... the uh, the armor titan not you and he even uh they get on there as soon as they get on there saucer turns around and as soon as saucer turns around after she hears something we see where gabby shoots her in the chest and everyone's like what the hell and as soon as gene's about ready to fire uh falco stops him stops her and then as soon as that happens we just see where bullets start flying and they start beating the Evelyn and tar out of Gabby as well as Falco and then they basically tell Gabby starts going off about oh you know our you know after you kill me our war leader you know Zeke will be avenged and we'll, we're the true Elodins and you can take me to your leader after you kill me and everything she's basically trying to act like she you know is the best warrior that the uh, Elodin slash Marley army has even though yes she is a good warrior but at the same time we see where they come in and here's and here's the real shot Peck is still alive Peck is still alive. Then we also see where they open up the door and they're like, these these are the kids that basically that uh, got on board and they killed one of the ones and they basically said that they also shot uh, Shasha. And as soon as that happens, we see where Mixa and Armin run to get to her side. But then we also see where 
somehow or other, Zeke is still alive. He does not have his arms. He does not have his legs. Somehow or other, he was in on this. We don't know how. He was in on this. He basically says that uh, Levi was like, well, I guess everything went according to plan. And even um, we hear someone else saying about, well, I guess everything went to plan. Then in it, uh, Zeke Yeager. And Aaron doesn't, like, even flinch. And he's under arrest right now where it's like, dude, you realize this is your half-older brother and you didn't even flinch. So, obviously, there may be something that they may do further in a uh, – in like an episode where we see like a flashback or something to understand maybe Zeke was working with them to make sure that, that he played his part to basically go up against the Marlies anyway since he already did not trust them because of how everything was going uh, unsure but then Gabby and Falco see him and they're like what 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 what's going on and then as soon as that happens they're just like well he says well there were miscalculations and then you see uh so what miscalculations and he says these kids so he did not think that they were going to do what they were going to do i guess he did not know if they were going to survive or he wanted them dead or he just wanted them out of the way while they go through for the plan and then of course they blame someone else which i'm not exactly sure who it was who was supposed to make sure that the jaw titan and the cart titan i guess were able to be captured and he said that it was that she or he basically says that it was on him i can't i can't see what character it was there but it looks different but at the same time we do see where um pete starts talking about that same soldier and then we see where it goes right back and as soon as they start talking coney comes in and he basically informs everyone that sasa is dead and everyone just starts losing it and Aaron's sitting there and he goes what were her last words and Connie goes meat and Aaron kind of starts laughing but then he gets a flashback of her stealing meat from the officers and basically stating that this is what we're going to have since of course anyone that is a OG fan knows how Sasha not Sa yeah Sasha just loved to eat and she loved meat and that's what originally what she wanted so unfortunately now Sasha is dead Aaron basically uh, does say that, you know, he starts kind of, he gets really pissed off. And then he, it, Levi basically says no matter what, and, and even, you know, we see uh, another one base saying like no matter how many, you know, times you get captured, we're going to come for you. But again, how many lives is it going to cost us? And even Gene is even tired of fighting. And even Levi understands that they only have so many soldiers and they're wanting to build an Elden Empire against the Marley Empire. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen now. All we know is Aaron, know, he knew that the sacrifices were probably going to be great. To, to my knowledge, they only lost six uh, soldiers, possibly more. But now that Sasha's gone, it really hit him because he, I don't think he realized that he was going to lose a former uh, squad mate as well as a friend and a very someone that he loved and cared about that uh, she was going to die. So he had no idea that that was going to happen. And now he's going to take it upon himself to, I guess, avenge her death. So the very next episode is going to be very interesting. Overall, this episode was really impactful. It was really uh, <clears throat> like, what the heck was going on? That was my entire mindset when, as soon as I saw Zeke, because I'm like, okay, are are they trying to do something to where they're trying to get the other Titans that are originally supposed to be their enemies to be their allies? I'm not exactly sure. That could be the idea. Um, I'm going to have to look more into this uh, when I do my next review for you guys, or I may do another uh, video about this because I'm very curious about if Zeke uh, it's kind of playing both sides or he's just making he, or he wants to basically make sure that Elodin's basically have the right to be there. I, I don't know. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen. But all I can say is this episode was really intense and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And also, you know, R.I.P. Sasha, great, great character, great actress for both the English dub as well as the Japanese voice actress as well. So. I was, I was upset to see her go. I mean, I had a feeling someone was going to die. I did not know who. And I'm going to be honest here, guys. I really don't care about Gabby. I really don't. I don't care about Gabby. I don't care about Falco. I don't care about any of those characters that, you know, they're trying to make us care about. I just care about the squad. You know, I care about Aaron. I care about Levi. I care about Mikasan. I want to. I care about Armin. I care about those characters. Th those are who I care about. So, again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And let me know what you think. And we'll talk soon.